hi and welcome back to another video so today's video is not construction related anyway so about a year and half ago myself and some few friends visited Shiari also known as the hanging village the main purpose of that particular visit was to cover a short documentary about the village while highlighting some of the challenges that they have in the village so we are able to maybe get some funds and then support them to cater for some of those challenges so yeah it's been like about a year and a half and maybe some few months since then after that video um we got or we've gotten some donations so far from a couple of people all around the world which is good and um the solution we intended to tackle had to do with their water system we're looking at um, a situation whereby we're able to pump water from their existing water source into the village, store them in water storage tanks, and then have it filtered so that um, the village can you know, use the water. However, the cost that was going to go into that was uh, like, it's a lot. So uh, that's part of the reasons why it has been a year and a half already. So we were still looking at, instead of waiting to have like to have um, a complete amount of money which is able to take care of that particular solution how about we do something with whatever we've been able to get so far so that even if we are not able to complete everything whoever is to come after us uh, is able to continue from there or even whoever visits them in terms of tourists or whatever it is is able to donate into their community fund so that they're able to use um, some of those monies for that so currently, I am actually at Chiari, but I'm at the base, um, the bottom. We bought some cement, we bought some blocks, and then the water storage tank. So we bought two pieces of the water storage tank, and one has been delivered already. The other is on its way coming. So I'm waiting to for that to be delivered, and then we look at how it is going to be carried to the video. I've been getting lots of questions from some of the people who have deleted so far on how these water storage tanks are going to be carried to the top. So, the size is 2,500 liters each and myself I'm, I'm looking forward to how they are going to carry it up to the top so I'm able to film that so that's how come I'm seated at the base here so basically that's the purpose of this video so I'll be showing you um, some of the you know shots from buying from the vendors at Mkwanta and then having them delivered to this particular point and then also carrying them all the way to the top so that is going to be the purpose of this video so as I was saying, since we are unable to do everything, um, we are hoping that um, once we are able to have this installed, that is a water storage tank um, installed, whoever is going to come is definitely also going to support them to be able to accomplish this particular uh, mission. So yeah, you can get in touch with me. I have always have my contact details in the description of the video. You can get in touch with me in case you are interested and you would like to support um, the hanging village or Shiari or even you would want to visit you can you know get in touch with me and I'll be able to help out with that so yeah let's take a look at how some of these things especially carrying off the water storage tank out there is going to look like they've started carrying some of the blocks already so I'm yet to see how the water storage tank is going to be like and I'll share with you as well
So if you're wondering how they are going to be carrying the water storage tank to the top, well, the men are here and they're about to do that. So let's just take a look at how they are going to go about that. So that will give you an idea about how they carry um, huge stuff or maybe heavy stuff to the top. So let's take a look. <music> Thank you. 
So as the saying goes, two heads are always better than one. Now in this case, more hands are better than one. So as you saw in the video, uh, there was a group of men who held this together and they, was able, they were able to carry it to their top. So basically that's how they go about carrying um, huge stuff or maybe things which are heavy to all the way to their top. So they work together as a team and they're able to achieve that. So the water storage tanks are 2,500 liters each. So that makes a total of 5,000 liters. Of course, 5,000 liters is not going to be enough for them, as I was saying earlier. But of course, this is where we are able to start from and hopefully we are able to get uh, more for you know the village. So um, also uh, in the next video where we are looking at having a small ceremony, I'll cover all the costs that has gone into it. I also talk about uh, the funds that received so far because I have to consult my uh, my books to, to be able to confirm or um, as and validate all the amounts that we received and then what we spent so far. And if there's anything that is left as surplus, probably we look at what that can be used for as well. So yeah, this this has taken like about one and a half years because we were not getting um, the amount of money we were looking at to be able to make this happen. But of course. It was also good to start off from somewhere so that's what we are looking at doing or from now so that um probably people are able to see that this was not like a uh, scam or something this this is really a genuine cause so yeah so that's that's with the, with the size of the storage tanks what are storage tanks yeah so as i was saying earlier the purpose of this trip was basically to purchase water storage tanks um cement and then blocks which is going to be used for the construction of the platform to have the water storage tank um, set on top so um, that has been delivered with the door that today we're able to purchase the, um, the materials that is the blocks and then the cement and then the water storage tank itself and then had them delivered so um, they've carried them to the top what is going to be done next is they are going to construct a platform for it they are going to identify the spots uh, from the drone shots you can tell that the, the village is quite big yes yeah, so this or these two poly tanks are not going to be enough for them but um, as it stays now, this is what we are able to do. So um, they're going to find vantage points and then position them for now. And then um, as time goes on, if there's any more donations, then more can be purchased and then situated at different vantage points. And then also um, the construction of the water pump from the source of water all the way to these water storage tanks. So as you can see, it's quite a huge project. But of course, um, there's a there's this saying that a thousand miles um, a thousand mile journey always begins with a step so uh, this is just the beginning of it and hopefully we hope that people see this and then um, also able to donate to support or even those who visit um, the village as well are also able to um, support into or uh, donate into their community fund so this video is going to be uh, in different parts this is basically just the delivery of the materials uh, and then also carrying them up there. and then in a different video we'll probably just have a a simple small ceremony which is just to hand over these um, um, water story tank to the community and then we also have the names of all the donors pasted on it so you know we acknowledge them also so basically that would be just about it for this video thank you very much for watching bye for now